Weird Al Yankovic. Good evening. You may know him as the voice of Cheese Sandwich in the show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. But aside from that, he's hardly done anything. He has a movie coming out called Weird, The Al Yankovic Story. There's a trailer for it. I'm guessing it's most likely detailing his rise to fame from voicing Cheese Sandwich on My Little Pony. Let's check it out. Now hold on. Why is he making out with Madonna? So I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that had to do with My Little Pony. But it's time we come clean, Mr. Yankovic. You're known as being that weird guy. And frankly, I think it's time to drop the act. I think this movie is going to paint the wrong picture. I think this is going to glamorize being weird. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen a weirdo, but weirdos are bad. And why are they bad? Well, it's because they smell bad. This is going to glamorize people being weird. This is going to glamorize not showering. And showering is important because I know someone who hasn't showered in two months and now his teeth are falling out. This is sending the wrong message, Weird Al. All your fans are entering their 50s by now. You gotta start being a better role model. You gotta drop the weird act and do something productive, like major in architecture or something. He attended California Polytechnic State University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in architecture. Well, good for you, sir, Al Yankovic. <laughs> Why not use that fancy degree you have to make buildings instead of making out with Madonna? I think you're too old to be the weird guy, Mr. Weird Al Yankovic. I know you were young once and you probably were like, hey, what am I? I'm fucking weird. But you're supposed to grow, Yankovic. Like the Kid Leroy. You're not a kid anymore, bro. You were supposed to break out of that weird spell and become an architect. But no, what did you do instead, Mr. Yankovic? You made out with Madonna. But I know this advice may not be taken seriously from someone who's jerked off on camera and posted it on the internet. So you're probably thinking, who are you to be telling me to stop being weird? And you know what? You got a point, Mr. Yankovic. But what you may not know is that I've been called weird before. <laughs> and it was the saddest day of my life. When I was called weird, I, was, I took that very personally. <laughs> Because weirdos smell bad. And I showered, damn it. So what happened, right? Well, I lit people's socks on fire. I lit some chick's sock on fire. Not her, Judge Anderson. And she called me a weirdo, even though I just showered last week, God damn it. She called the cops and I was in court for attempted murder, which is not true, Judge Anderson. Socks are not people. So yeah. What's this video about? Weird Al! If that's my experience with being a weirdo, I can only imagine what 62 years of weirdness will do to a man. That's 62 years of not showering. That's gross. But what else makes you weird, Al? There must be something else, right? Hello? He died? What do you mean he died? That can't be true. Oh my god! John Lennon's dead! So apparently, here's a little known fact about your boy, Weird Al. Not only did Weird Al voice Cheese Sandwich in My Little Pony, he also apparently made music. White and nerdy? <laughs> Let's give this a listen, I guess. This sucks. Sounds like it's slowed down for copyright reasons. Now that we've shat on this man's entire career, Let's proceed to mock his appearance. Oh, bro. Yo, you need to cut your long curly hair, man. You're not gonna get laid looking like this. Trust me. Ha, the 70s called. They want their style back. I know I may be being a bit too harsh on Weird Al for like no reason. So I'm gonna reel it back in a little bit. He has done one good thing throughout his life and that's voicing Cheese Sandwich on My Little Pony Friendship is magic. Cheese sandwich is an inspiration. Not a day goes by where I don't clop, I mean, think about cheese sandwich. Now I had a tough childhood. Cheese sandwich is definitely in the top 20 ponies in My Little Pony, Friendship is magic. They say you can take the sandwich out of a cheese, but you can't take the cheese out of a sandwich. God bless you, 
God bless America. Brendan, you went too hard on Weird Al. Listen, chat member who definitely exists. I could have gone harder. Here's a really easy way to do that in case you want to be toxic when you grow up. Weird Al net worth. 20 million? You could have more. What are you, lazy? What are you, dumb? <laughs> it could technically be more, yes. And just to elaborate further, because I edited the video down and it was only five and a half minutes, I've prepared a PowerPoint presentation. Well, a Google Slides, it's the same thing. Please ignore my old John Green presentation with the text you can't even read. So here's Weird Al. Let's take something of his and go through why it's not funny. White and nerdy. Not funny. Why? Well, first off, it's offensive. I, as a straight white middle class male, am offended. And why am I offended? Well, it's because the song is stereotypical. Not all white people are nerds. Some of us are really dumb. It's a hot cup of, of mm, water. Mm. Tastes good. It's also just really sad. I listen to music to escape the harsh realities of life. I don't want to be reminded that nerds exist. This brings us to something that's actually funny. And what is that thing that's actually funny? Well, it's Moby Dick. Moby Dick is peak comedy. Now, why is this? You see, Moby Dick is funny because... Whoops. What? I forgot to explain? Anyway, if you don't know who this is, this is a musician named Moby. And what's cool about Moby is that he's bald. That's pretty funny. And he's a vegan. So that means he's better than you. Here's Moby again in case you missed it the first time. And here is a penis. So what's the punchline, right? We have Moby and we also have a dick. So what am I setting up here? What's the punchline? Well, it's Butters from South Park. Now answer me this. Who's funnier? Weird Al? Do I turn you on? Or Butters from South Park? There's something in my pocket. What? You decide on that one. That concludes my presentation. Remember, you can and you should give up because the odds are stacked against you. In conclusion, Weird Al, you're better than this. I think. I don't know you personally, but I, I hope so. I'm not gonna watch your movie because I think it would glamorize not wearing deodorant. But I will see you live on October 8th in La 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 Los Angeles. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Bitches and drugs. Bitches and drugs. I really like bitches and drugs.